Hello, all my friends and colleagues. Welcome to my studio and new office. This is a Finnish forest and it's very peaceful, relaxing and beautiful place to work in. I could talk about the forest and physically active ways of work forever because it was actually my former research topic. However, I will now switch the topic because I am going to give you my forestic presentation for Persuasive Technology Conference. The name of our article is Learning and Teaching Experiences with a Persuasive Social Robot in Primary School. My name is Aino Ahtinen. I am a university lecturer in Tampere University in Finland. Uh, in the unit of computing sciences, I teach social robotics, psychology and human technology interaction. On this picture, I have the superstar of this paper with me. It is the NAWA robot, which is called Elias in this case, based on the learning program inside. I conducted this research with my dear colleague and friend Kirsikka Kaipainen. Greetings for Kirsikka. And because we always need to present our university logos, this is the logo of Tampere University. You can consider this presentation as a short pitch about the paper, so the details you can read if you are interested. So if you are now in hurry, you can get the overview of our work in just a few minutes. So, in 2018, we conducted a four-month field study in one of the Finnish primary schools. This study is about the user experience and persuasiveness of the language learning robot Elias. The study setup is very unique. So the robot was given to the school and the teachers themselves could define how to use it, how often and so on. So we conducted classroom observations every month, interviews, questionnaires for the teachers and parents, and we also asked the teachers to fill in the diary about the robot use. We had 20 pupils of third grade in the study, also three language teachers and 18 parents. I am not actually going into the details when it comes to the related work on the area of robot-assisted language learning. But I wanted to mention that this is indeed a hot topic at the moment on the area of human-robot interaction. So if you want more information about the previous work, you can read these excellent reviews made by these guys. On this picture, you can see the Elias robot in action in class. So we used now robot as a platform and we installed Elias le learning program inside. Elias is a language learning software to be used with, with a robot. It is developed by a Finnish company called Utelias Technologies. So with Elias, the pupils can practice several languages on different levels. The pupil or teacher first selects the suitable lesson and the first task is to repeat the words related to the lesson. The pupil can actually see the related picture on a mobile device. The second task is to try to remember the words shown on the pictures. Uh, Elias Robot gives feedback about the performance as well as rewarding. It gives rewards such as clapping hands, dancing, and also some verbal encouraging. It also checks if the spelling is going well. After learning the words, the pupils can have a chat with Elias. You might be already curious about what we found out about the user experience and persuasiveness of Elias, the language learning robot. Thanks for being patient. I will now summarize the main findings and the rest you can read from the paper if you want. First of all, we observed that the atmosphere and the learning motivation in all of the Elias-based sessions was very positive and enthusiastic. The kids were fighting for the turns to learn with Elias and the motivation didn't decrease 
over the time period of four months. However, however for sure, the intelligent and evolving learning content plays a strong role, as well as how interestingly the teacher integrates the robot to the teaching. Elias and the teacher works best as a collaborational work pair. I don't believe at all for Elias replacing the teachers. Secondly, when it comes to the persuasiveness, we observed the importance of the robotic ways of rewarding the pupils. Elias had actually some own specific ways of giving the reward, and these acted as very strong motivators for the pupils. For example, the candy, candy eyes, meaning the colorful eyes expression, which indicated success, but which was only given rarely, was very popular. These are specific for the robots, and the humans don't have these. This gives unique flavor for the robot-assisted learning. I will definitely explore this more in the future work. Okay guys, this was a very short snapshot to our Persuasive Technology Conference article called Learning and Teaching Experiences with a Persuasive Social Robot in Primary School. It's time to say goodbye now from my studio and office in Forest. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me on my email address. Moikka moi!